Bellevue Transit started using on-demand service about uh, about a year and a half ago, uh, and the service we operated is, uh, is of course the the Pantonium on-demand product. Uh, when we launched the service, um, we were anticipating getting our, on average, 43 riders every night, uh, just home a little bit quicker, um, and then not have to use the vehicle on a fixed route service, wasting fuel and, and wasting vehicle wear and tear. And, and we were very pleasantly surprised by the fact that the, uh, the residents and riders of the city of Belleville literally leapt on board the bus. Uh, we saw um, a 250 um, rider increase in two weeks uh, and it just kept continually growing over the period of the month uh, until it maxed out at about a 300 percent increase in ridership um, very very quickly. The efficiency of the Pantonium product allows us to to operate our, our on-demand service with five buses uh, during the on-demand time when normally we'd require 13 buses to cover the same amount of area. It's transit based on when you want to go. It's on your schedule. It's not on the transit schedule. It's when you want to pick up your phone or you want to go online and book your trip. It's on your schedule. You're not waiting for the transit schedule. And that was a big seller. You're more in control of planning transit than transit planning you. When I would tell people that, the people with like our usual customers, they would say, they would think about it. Goes, yeah, you're right. I mean, it's like um, I'm always online checking the schedule, seeing where it works, and compared to what I want to do, it'd be a long process. And I just pick up the phone. Okay, I need to go to Shoppers. Uh, okay, let's plug it in. Oh, it'll be here in 20 minutes. Perfect. Right? I'm out the door and gone. Compared to the old hour service. You would get picked up and then go to the terminal, then you have to wait for your transfer bus if you were going from west to east. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it wasn't designed that that transfer bus was the next one going out, so you'd have to wait another half an hour for that east end route. It would take you an hour and a half to get what you could probably walk in half an hour. Really? If you wanted to. So, what is that now? What's that time? Uh, it's an average of about 16 minutes people get from point A to their destination. And the people love it. And this is a beautiful system, um, and it's it's seamless to use. It's it's not that difficult. Anyone can use it. I can use it, and I'm not considered very techy. To keep introducing stuff like the technology part like this, um, that's one of the things that, that will bring people back, right? Because they'll find out that oh, well, this is like easy. Yeah. Are you guys going to do it besides a Sunday? Th those are the type of things, you know, whether it's a late night service during the week to help the factories or running a late night service to, you know, when the theater's out after 8 o'clock on a Saturday. We were looking into this for years, and that's when we came across Pantonium, I'm going to say, two years ago, and we started talking uh, with you guys. And I can tell you this right now, just you know, to be a, a Pantonium Kool-Aid drinker or a cheerleader, the ability to switch some of our underperforming fixed routes into on-demand transit um, has made, uh, number one, the optics to the general public a whole heck of a lot better. Number two, the reliability of the trips a whole heck of a lot better. Um, I can say that our on-time performance is amazingly better um, and the customer experience is much better also because we're able to use the, the freedom of the on-demand uh, transit to avoid the school gridlock zone, to avoid the, the heavy intersection freeway areas so that we can deliver our customer, deliver our, our, our passengers uh, to where they need to go.